Hi guys, so I finally found the time to put this video together and this is going to be my reflection on where the gaming industry as a whole is heading towards. Now, recent years have left us gamers very worried on several things and it seems like the gaming industry got relaxed and you can see it how they release their games. Now I'm going to talk about Batesta because in the recent years, especially since Fallout 4 was launched in 2015, I spent the most time playing their games, not only Fallout 4, but also Skyrim. The other game that I played more than those two games in the past three years has been The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, which the comparison is astonishing. Now, we are all tired of the same argument that CD Projekt Red is a better developer than Bethesda because what CD Projekt Red delivered in The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt was a finished game. A game that took years for them to develop, a small developer in Poland I want to remember, against Bethesda, which is a huge developer in the United States. Now, CD Projekt Red was praised by their game. It won the major awards on the Game of the Year of 2015 against Bethesda's Fallout 4. And it was the result of a finished game against an unfinished game, something that has become trend in latest year in gaming. Now, why is that happening? It's happening because people are buying the games before they release. People are buying games without even know what the game is going to be or look like. Once again, this year in E3, Bethesda asked for their fans to buy a game that they really didn't show anything about. Yeah, yeah they show a little bit of gameplay, but be truthful to yourself. Anything that you have saw on that game is really different from what you are seeing on your screen right now? The answer is no. Even Todd Howard said that Fallout 76 was going to be the multiplayer version of Fallout 4. So what they actually are doing is remastering the map, cleaning it, taking out all the human NPCs using the same engine. We have seen how most of the outfits already are in Fallout 4. Yes, they have new weapons. We saw an axe. We saw a revolutionary gun, we saw new enemies, and we are seeing a new map. But how different the gameplay is? And the answer is, there's no difference at all. So Bethesda is asking gamers and fans to buy a game that is actually like a big DLC of Fallout 4, asking for them not only to pay full price in advance, but also to play the game and correct all the mistakes with their beta, that that should be their job. Look how crazy this sounds. They say, pay us for our game, that you don't know what the game is gonna look like, play the game, correct our mistakes, and then we're gonna launch it. So basically you're working for Bethesda while paying them. If you have the opportunity to play the beta. That's the point in the gaming industry history that we are right now. Although where Fallout is going is very worrisome, we have to see the gaming industry as a whole. Not too many people are talking about the next generation consoles because it seems like they are very far away. I actually believe that they are gonna release the next generation consoles by December or Christmas on 2020. So we are about two years and a half from a new generation consoles. CD Projekt Red already announced that the game that they haven't released yet called Cyberpunk 2077, that they have like five or six years developing, is imagined to work for the next generation consoles. So probably we are not gonna get Cyberpunk 2077 until the next generation consoles are out. So think about it, it's very, very close. I mentioned 
my worry about where the gaming industry is heading because it seems like nobody is talking about what Microsoft is intending to do with their console. Do you remember when Xbox One was released? All the problems that Microsoft had to deal with before its release? And I'm talking about all that crap on the Xbox to be connected to the internet 50 seconds a day or so in order to be unlocked? That's outrageous. That's insane. All these consoles cost a lot of money. I know that out there there are gamers that they are being paid for play games, streamers and people like that. Most of them don't even realize how hard it is to earn money in the real world. And this is not a critique against the gaming uh, the gamers. This is a critique against the gaming industry. Gamers they are doing what they know most of them wouldn't even play games if they are not being paid. Most of the gamers that are on Twitch, if Twitch, YouTube, Mixers, and all other platforms told them, we are not going to give you any more money, we are not going to allow you to announce Patreon on your streaming, or other sponsors, these people will stop playing games. You know that. You all guys know that. And you know what? Microsoft, Sony, Bethesda, Ubisoft, Electronic Arts, they also know it. They know that there are people leaving from playing video games online. So that's the niche market that they are going to target on their next generation consoles. The Xbox Scarlet is going to be an Xbox developed especially for streamers. People that do not only play games for a living, but also pays DLCs that no one else pays, microtransactions that no one else pays, just because they want to be better on their streams. And let's be frank, nobody wants to see a loser. Nobody wants to see a person lose on their stream all the time. We all like winners. We all like people winning and support the winner. So Microsoft and Sony and others know that these people can make them more money than they have already with the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4. So guys, this is basically my thoughts. Because people when they criticize Fallout 76, they are not criticizing the gaming industry. They are criticizing the game, the business model that Bethesda is going to. And let me tell you something, it's deeper than that, it's more complicated than that. Fallout 76 is going to be the end of an era, it's going to be the end of Player One. Yes, they are going to develop Starfield and they are going to develop Elder Scrolls 6, but what is going to happen after it? It's going to happen Starfield Online, Elder Scrolls Online 2. And the industry as we know it is over. These are very scary times for our gamers, for people that work all day and they want to get home, spend a couple of hours playing a good video game, like it was The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, one of the best stories ever told in the video game history, and play it for months. These kind of games are going to disappear. Developers like CD Projekt Red, they're still small and they have to adapt to the new reality of the gaming industry. So CD Projekt Red, sooner or later, they are also going to start to develop online games. So guys, I only hope that most of the things that I just said are not going to become true, but the reality on, on the trends of where everything is heading it makes me very worried. It's a very scary time. We are seeing how the mobile business model is translating to the mainstream video game industry. So what I can recommend and I can say to you gamers out there that are like me, that we like player one, we like good stories, we, got, we like finished games, just don't buy pre-order games. 
Don't buy Season Pass. Wait, wait. Wait until the game is released. Wait until you see the reviews that are gonna be done before it's released. And don't play dumb. Don't do Batesta's work and pay for doing Batesta's work. Well, guy, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Please leave your comments down below, subscribe, and tell me your feelings about it. Tell me how you feel about it. Are you feeling that the gaming industry is taking away your passion, your hobby? Or you feel like it's improving, that this is the correct way to go? Thank you, guys, and see you around. Bye, guys.